Hi, I'm Penny. This is Penelope's Pit Stop and in this episode we're going to be doing Issue 17, The Front Suspension. So I have in front of me the parts and uh, we start off with piece A, this is the front leaf spring and this is an absolutely amazing piece. Um, I'm quite old fashioned, I remember some of the old cars and I remember the suspension being made up of layers of metal and I think they've captured this beautifully. Um, I don't know if that is actually individual pieces of metal or if it's just shaped like it but look at it it looks like it is individual so that's piece A uh, piece B is uh, a bump stop and that's this piece here not really much to say about it it looks like a button if you're working with electronics you'd suggest that might look like a button uh, piece number C is the washer and that's a square washer funnily enough now these feel all metal so far now piece D and E look exactly the same it's the left and the right spring mount now the way I know them apart this is the left piece and this actually has no detail on it whatsoever um, it has detail but let me explain the reason I know that E is, is the right is because you see they put a little letter R on it so by process of elimination this is the left and this one is the right and then that leaves two final actual pieces which is the spring clamps which of which there's two and then there's a packet of BM screws packet of GP screws and packet of FM screws and they may not be in the order that they're written in the magazine but they're labelled already so that's fine. So in addition to the parts we've got this week uh, we also need this um, this part that we made in issue 4 and what we're going to do is we're going to be getting the um, the right spring mounts and I just want to make sure I've got these correct. D goes in this way and E goes in this way. There doesn't seem to be an orientation i.e. it doesn't matter if you get them the wrong way round but obviously you do want the left on the left and the right on the right. So I'm suggesting that this is the correct way round. So this is D the left and the way I know that is if you hold this piece that way you've got this little arm you've got the wheels stick out and you've got this little arm that comes down if you had it the other way around the arms would go up and it would appear in the magazine that they're coming down so therefore D goes in there and we'll deal with one at a time now I can see actually there is a correct way around so if you pop this on the wrong way round you can see that it overhangs if you put it on the correct way round it doesn't overhang and they will be secured with BM screws so we'll just get about four out I say about four that wasn't really a good shot was it and I'm just going to get my new screwdriver so this is my new Aurea that I said I was going to be purchasing and obviously I'm now no longer used to the bits so I may need to fiddle a little bit with the bits that seems a good bit but let's just try a, a larger bit yeah I like that so so what we're going to be doing is we're going to screw this in from the opposite side so 
just popped one screw in just enough to bite although it looks like it did bite so just enough just to grab it and then once we get this screw in we don't need to focus so much on holding that we can focus more on actually doing the part up Just finish this screw off. I try to be gentle. They probably screw heads probably won't be seen, but I do like to try and make sure I don't scratch them. So we'll pop the right side in now, and again we'll do a little dry fit. That one goes in fine, and if I pop it in the other way around, actually that goes in fine too. So that might explain why there's a left and a right. So. That's rather interesting, is it? So they obviously are different. So we'll just pop this one in just enough to bite. Get it all back into position. Pop this one in just enough to bite. There we go, make sure it's in nice and tight, which that is, and that is stage one complete. So stage two, we want C and B, and that's actually going to be going into the leaf spring part A. So we make sure we have the orientation correct, and we'll know it's correct because this circle bit will be pointing upwards, and that's going to go straight through the middle and that's going to be secured with a GP screw so this must be a plastic piece because we know GPs are plastic screws so I think the easiest way to tackle this will be to pop this through the piece piece C and then pop that through the middle there's a little bit of shiny bit on it don't know what that is but that will be covered up by this piece and then I think what I'll do is I will just screw that on manually just to get it going and then I'll hold that because it's gonna I know it's gonna rotate when we when we screw it in so I want to hold that and then we'll just finish that off with a screwdriver and remember it is a plastic piece so we don't want to over tie in so I'm just going to keep going that doesn't actually want to stop so I'm not going to so there we go that's that piece in so the next stage I want to go back to the suspension we want to place this with this little knobbly bit downwards we, oh look at that that goes straight in there so you see you've got two holes there and the piece that we put in an earlier stage has got a li little um, what do you call that a little notch on it and that's going to go in there like so and there's no screws attaching that but we will be putting these in the mounts and they will go over the top like so and they will be secured with BM screws so we are screwing into metal so let me just pop these back in and I may need to magnetize my screwdriver because no actually I don't it's a new screwdriver so you don't always know how once you've been using a screwdriver for a while you kind of get to know what it's like and it it kind of becomes part of you but this is a new one um, I'm coping very well with it it's very not I mean I know what I'm the design is exactly the same as the old one so little bit of a click there that's my error not anyone else's if you are constantly clicking when you screw the screwdriver or screw the screws in that might suggest that you have the wrong head on for the job um, in the in the case of me just then it was just a little slip so 
elbow although that if I'm slipping there is an argument there to say that I've not got the correct head there we go so let's try that with a smaller head I don't like I don't like Choplin changing heads part way through a stage um, but it might suggest I've got the wrong head on the fact that it's slipping a little bit more than reasonable that one's slipping as well yeah that's actually slipping more so I'm going to go back to the original head so this is a it says number one there's actually nothing written on it so I can't tell you the sizes um, but I like I like quite a wide one because it kind of grips at the top but every now and again you find yourself wanting uh, a screw head that will or screwdriver head that will penetrate quite deep so don't want to go mental on this but I feel there's a little bit of a wobble on there so I just want to just add a little bit more these are metal screw or metal that we're screwing into so there we go I've got rid of all that looseness so look at that beautiful suspension the way it works is just so simple it's just layers of metal on top of each other and that's how it all works so the final stage is we're going to bring this up you see there that we've got oh I'm dubious now is this actually going to how it's going to go I'm beginning to wonder if I got this the wrong way round because it's not fitting so just adjust that just making sure I've got this in the correct way round it's very hard to tell isn't it especially with the uh, pictures not being so good and also I don't have my reading glasses on so left this is the left I believe that these have got left and right written on them. I did see an L or an R somewhere earlier. I should be able to tell from these. However, I can't because the pictures, this is the picture I'm following and it's very hard to see. Um, but I think I can see yes I can I can just make out there I mean obviously you're seeing the instructions up screen um, but I can just see this bit poking out there so this is going to be FM screws and I'm guessing that the way these screws are going to bite is that they will bite into the two sides of the wheel not actually in the, the leaf suspension that's quite a common way of doing it so oh do 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 apologies I didn't switch my phone off and as I've already started to build I'm afraid I'm not going to cut it um, so there we go it's, it's, it's kind of going in okay and then it's starting to get a little bit tougher towards the end as it's coming through the suspension so I absolutely love this no fancy springs no fancy electronics to control how much air is going in it's just keep it nice and simple I mean I don't suppose for a moment suspension was any better than than modern cars but the actual design this is actually a really tricky piece to do believe it or not the parts aren't lining up absolutely perfect 
which is obviously causing a bit of a problem and this wheel it's not quite bending in the right places I will get it I will not give up what I'm concerned about though is I've got little flakes of paint but I can't actually see where those flakes of paint are coming from see that's not going into the suspension properly I think that might have just got it. It's a little bit of wobble, so maybe not. Okay, I may need to take this side off then. But what I'm concerned about, if I take this side off, will this side go in easy and make this one difficult? So. I need three hands. I can pull this up and make the hole perfect but then I can't hold it open and screw the screw in so unless I can hold that open with something this is very very difficult and just pull it down it there we go so pulling it down has not done it because it's actually slipped so what I need to do is pull this piece up a little bit the hole hasn't quite lined up properly um, you see that's not a perfect circle and now I can actually pull this up like that and now we have that perfect circle but obviously as you can see I don't have any hands left over to put this screw in so I really need about four arms to do this this is a rather tricky piece but this is um, this is the kind of thing that I what about I'm going to try a cocktail stick from the other side. No, that's not working. Okay. I'm going to try a screw from the other side. And I'm only going to insert it halfway. And then that should, I'm hoping, pull that screw hole into position. pushed it out more than anything okay I can't do this I wonder if I've got this incorrect because it doesn't naturally line up there you go that's gone in look that's perfect hole all I've done is I've just pulled the um, the spring up just a little bit so I may actually have got a bit of success there let's see oh look at that I think that's going in or is it no that's not going in so maybe the screws just not wanting to go in Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll just make sure the screw hold screw does actually fit in. 
which it does then I will make sure this goes through these which it does so feels a little bit more promising much more promising I think that's going in yeah that's going in so happy ending then oh this is why I need an electric screwdriver my hand is starting to ache Right, that doesn't want to come out the other side now. I've gone from one thing to one problem to another. Right. It's not screwing in, is it? just wasn't connecting with the other side properly wow that was such hard work for such um, for the amount of work that we've done but look at that that suspension is not moving much because it doesn't but there we go so can you see how this works quite often we have um, we have springs this is just a series of metal bars and you can see that it moves with those bars so yeah that's that I'm really happy with and that is the end of the stage so I hope you enjoyed it um, and then what we'll do is we'll work on uh, we'll work on the next stage in the next video so take care guys <laughs>